Are you wondering if engineering is worth all this hard work? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you why it's worth it, give you a story so that you don't quit, and 10 quick tips so that you can stay motivated. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. And if you want the 1% Engineer Kit, guys, which is a bunch of ebooks and resume templates so that you can win, click on the link in the description, join the community, and I'll send you that. For those of you who have been watching these videos, I also have a Facebook group filled with 1% Nation, so comment below if you want an invite to that. Today's video is about motivation, determination, and perseverance. It's all about how you can succeed and I want to start with a story, something that's going on right now in the engineering community, someone that I know who's going through a tough time and I know what they're experiencing. And I want to talk about how you can relate this to your engineering journey and hopefully this helps you to stay motivated to stay determined so that you can survive, so that you can make it through engineering. And at the end of the story, guys, I'm gonna give you some tips about how you can stay motivated. When I started the 1% Engineer, guys, I knew that it was gonna be a long road to have the level of impact that I wanted to achieve to help engineers everywhere like you, 1% Nation. I primed myself for success when I released episode number one about eight months ago. I didn't call it episode number one. I didn't call it 01. I called it 001 to insinuate that this project was at least going to 100 episodes and I would like to grow this to 1,000 episodes. I use Gary Vaynerchuk for inspiration, one of my favorite business professionals who wrote books like Crush It and The Thank You Economy and Jab, 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 Right Hook about how to help, help, help and then ask and all these books can be video topics all alone. I think you guys would especially like Crush It. You should check it out. I'll link it up below. But Gary V's Wine Library TV show went to 1,000 episodes and he inspires me to make a lot of content and keep this going. Anyway, to achieve anything great, guys, it takes a long time to be successful. It takes a long time to accomplish greatness. So when you start something like an engineering degree, you have to know that you're going to experience pain. You have to know that there's gonna be ups and downs and you have to know that you will succeed, that you will stick it out for four years. When you start a new job, that you will make it to at least the two year mark, which is the bare minimum at the beginning of your career. So when you make commitments, guys, you're committing to the hard work, the grind, the hustle that is required to succeed, that is required to win. So I'll tell you guys a story, something that's going on right now with someone that I know, something that deeply saddens me because I think if they heard this message, it could help them. I'm not gonna reveal who it's about, but come with me on this story, guys, and at the end, I'll give you some tips about how you can overcome stuff like this. I know someone who's doing a similar project as me. They have an engineering and STEM show, a platform, a brand, a community, similar to 1% Nation. They interview success successful engineers and STEM professionals, and they've had some really good people on their show. I'm really impressed with this project, and this person has actually inspired me. I look up to this person. This person has created their show, they've accumulated a decent amount of episodes, but they've hit a slump lately. They're feeling down, and they want to quit. <laughs> And in my opinion, they're quitting before they've even started. And I hear about stories like this all the time in business, in content creation projects, in anything. People at the beginning are very excited, very energetic to get rolling, and they're filled with passion, they're filled with positive vibes, but then they realize that it actually sucks to keep anything going that's awesome. It takes a lot of hard work, it takes commitment, it takes perseverance, it takes consistency, you have to show up. And this applies for anything, like training for a race, or going to the gym and losing weight, or accomplishing an engineering program. You realize that you're climbing a mountain and some people see that mountain and once people realize that this mountain is in front of them, a lot of people quit. You have to be prepared to get your butt kicked, especially if you're an engineering student that first year, that second year, you're gonna get your butt kicked for like two years straight, guys. You have to be prepared for that and you have to be confident that you can overcome that. So this situation really makes me sad to see this other engineering content creator talk about quitting. And I know you guys have your hard days too. I know you can connect to this story. I know you can empathize with this situation and it's hard. I get it too. It's hard for me to make two, three videos a week to get off my full-time job commute home, eat a quick dinner, make a video, respond to YouTube comments, engage with you guys in the Facebook community, respond to email questions. It's go, 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 grind, grind, grind. And it's hard. It's really hard. I have my ups and downs and it is hard. So I know exactly what this person is going through. I know that you guys know exactly what they're going through as well. It's hard to keep studying, do that homework, 
go to class, wake up, repeat, study, homework, exam, study, email, lab. So what you have to do guys is face the fact that failure is not an option. And what I mean by failure is not an option is that when you have a loss, when you have a low moment, when you get a bad grade, maybe even when you fail a class, I had to retake Calc too. That stuff was hard, I hated it. It's only a true failure if you allow it to be your last attempt. It's only a real failure if you quit. If you throw in the towel, if you stop performing on a project, if you stop going to class, if you stop working on your research, so you can't give up. There's nothing in life that's great, that does not require a bunch of work, that is not worth that struggle on the front end. You have to put in that 10,000 hours to be a great engineer. And it takes the grind, it takes the tough days. This is why it's hard, because most people can't do it. But you guys can do it, 1% Nation. This is why you are here, because you are the top 1% engineers of your field, and you are going to make it. You are going to prevail. I know it's hard, you just have to get out of bed, work on the project. Get out of bed, keep grinding, keep going, don't stop. You don't wanna to study today? Too bad, you're gonna do it anyway. And again guys, a lot of times in life, you are your own worst enemy. You only fail if you allow yourself to fail. And oftentimes a victory, a big win, a breakthrough is right around the corner from a big slump, a downturn, a loss. How were you going to see the light at the end of that tunnel? right around that corner if you give up. You are most likely three feet from gold. You can't quit, you have to keep going, you can't stop. No great engineer solved tough problems because they said they couldn't do it. No great engineer solved tough problems because they said it can't be done. No great engineer helped people on this planet by throwing in the towel and saying, I can't do this. So here's 10 quick tips so you can stay motivated to succeed. One, do things for the right reasons. If you're in engineering because you think you're gonna make a lot of money, or because it's a prestigious thing that your family has pressured you into, you're probably gonna fail. You're not there because your heart is in it, you're there for the wrong reasons, and therefore, you probably should quit because it's too hard otherwise. So if you started a project, if you started anything because you actually want it, then you have the right formula to succeed. Two, start with the end in mind. You have to imagine that you're wearing that graduation cap. An accomplishment always starts with first the idea and then second the action. So you have to envision yourself at the end and be confident that you will make it. This is a lesson from Stephen Covey in this great book. Lesson number two, start with the end in mind. Number three is belief. Believe that you are going to succeed. We often become what we think about the most. So if you think you're gonna fail that test, if you think you're gonna get bad grades that semester, you're probably gonna fail, you're probably gonna get bad grades that semester. Believe that you are gonna make it and execute by putting in the grind, putting in the hard work to make sure that your belief comes true. Four, use goals. Oftentimes if we don't have daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals, then time elapses and we don't actually ensure that we're hitting our targets. So break things down into little tiny goals that you can achieve each day to make sure you're getting good grades, that you're building relationships, that you are accomplishing what you need to do to make sure that you survive, to make sure that you succeed. How do you eat an elephant guys? One bite at a time. Break it down into goals. Five, utilize Navy SEAL training. The Navy SEALs have what they call as the 40% rule. And psychologically, when we're thinking that we're ready to quit, generally we've only exhausted 40% of our resources. So when you're feeling like you don't wanna study anymore, if you're feeling like you wanna drop out of that class, you most likely have about 60% left inside of you to keep on going, climb that mountain, don't quit, grind it out. Six, surround yourself with greatness. And if you wanna be a better student, if you wanna be a better professional, you need to surround yourself with other people who can pull you up, who you can learn from, who can motivate you when you're feeling down. Because if you're hanging out with losers and you're not feeling 100%, they're gonna drag that 50% down to 20, 10, 0%, and you're not gonna succeed. Surround yourself with greatness. Seven, mental health. Seriously guys, download Headspace, download the Calm app. I use Calm, I love it. But keeping a clear mind is very important for success. Every day, daily acts of gratitude, teaching yourself how to focus, teaching yourself how to stay determined. Meditation has helped me so much with these types of topics and I highly encourage you to keep your headspace clear, to keep your mental health on point because otherwise you're gonna give up 
and you're not gonna feel confident, you're not gonna feel good about continuing to put in that work to accomplish your goals. Eight is balance, and I mean daily balance, I mean life balance, I mean monthly balance. You have to make sure that you're taking breaks and you're studying, you have to make sure that you are relaxing at some points after you have put in that hard work, reward yourself, with a night off or a Saturday off after you've hustled all week, but you have to stay balanced guys, otherwise you're gonna burn out and you're gonna lose. Six, family is super important. This is why I moved home from Vancouver five months ago guys, because I had spent eight years away from my family and I needed to get back to the people who love me the most, the people who I love the most, and surround myself with these people. So make sure that you're spending time with your family, make sure you're staying connected to brothers, sisters, moms, grandparents, fathers, loved ones, everyone, and it's gonna give you something to live for, it's gonna give you something to look forward to when you're finished up with school. Make sure that you're staying connected to your family, guys, it's really important. They will help you through these bad times, they will help you stay motivated. They love you, you love them, it's important, guys. And number 10 is to make sure you're eating well and getting lots of sleep. Just like taking care of your mind, guys, you have to take care of your body. If you're putting junk into your body, you're gonna get a junk performance. And if you're not sleeping seven, eight hours a night, guys, then you're not gonna be able to perform for your exams, you're not gonna be able to get up and do your homework, and you're gonna fail. So make sure you're eating healthy, make sure you're getting plenty of sleep. Those are 10 quick tips to stay motivated in engineering, and a couple stories to inspire you to keep going, to climb that mountain to have that grit don't give up you guys can be your own worst enemy if you allow yourself to fail so you have to believe in yourself you have to break it down into goals and one day at a time do that homework study for the tests go talk to your professors surround yourself with good friends and one day at a time guys you're gonna make it you're gonna succeed you're gonna rise to the top one percent of your career i hope this video helped you guys if it did consider subscribing because i release videos two or three times a week for engineering success thanks for watching the one percent engineer show guys and stay hungry on your quest to become a one percent engineer cheers